tremendous amount of the practice revolves around the idea of becoming round, of becoming circumstantial, of becoming centered, knowing that a sign of good health is when you're buoyant, well-adjusted, when you can see what is in front of you, when you can see what is behind you, when you have facility to put yourself in the middle and find equidistant concentration and radiance. Big piece of yoga is power, and the first powers of yoga, the first siddhas of yoga, are really afforded through sensibility, powers of perception. Can you see what's going on? Can you hear what's going on? Can you smell what's going on? Can you articulate what's going on? The greater powers are more nuanced. That's when you start playing for powers that demand even more fine imagination. Can you make time go quickly when you don't like what you're doing? Can you make time go slowly when you love what you're doing? Can you make yourself small when you need to be insignificant? And can you make yourself radiant when you need to be seen? So the art of these practices in some ways is the art of developing technique to become powerful. These first meditations are really based on the idea of being powerful by knowing how to organize yourself to be in the center of your circumference, to be in the eye of your storm, to be in the middle of your circumstances, knowing that if you are really in the center of yourself, you have the facility to see what is going on around you, you have the ability to be buoyant, you have the imagination that would give you radiance and concentration. So with that as our guiding principle, establish yourself in a form, a form that is formal and a form that is functional. Once you're in the center of yourself, you make contact, contact of the mind on the imagination, contact of the hearing and the breathing, contact of the tongue and the upper palate, facilitating your ability to move currency through you. So the art of the practices is really to consciously use yourself to participate and achieve your personal well-being. By virtue of being round and spherical, eventually north is south and south is north. So you're forced to play for that flippancy of knowing that even though grace is going to descend from above and effort, fire is going to descend from below, there is also that understanding that grace is effort and effort is graceful first polarity in the body is always between grace and effort, between water and fire. You being the third principle always participates as the mediator, putting yourself in the middle, knowing that the dialogue is not about just grace and effort, it's about how you're going to mediate the energies of grace and effort through you. <laughs>